is the acronym for Action for Community Transformation, CITRESDAL. It came into being from various initiatives, from various stakeholders, like the two local churches, the Dutch Reformed Church and the Uniting Reformed Church, that saw the need for further community development that are sustainable to give people skills. It is a vehicle through which projects and uh, community-based initiatives can be driven. We have this facility where we've been able to provide a space for our daycare disability service. And we've got our netting program, we've got Kansa here, we've got safety rooms for children that need temporary care. And then we also have our room for women and children who go through domestic violence and need a place to stay. And so it's really about healthy living and develop families so that they can thrive. I think that was the main reason why the different farms decided that they should get involved as a group uh, because they're a family of farmers, they're a family of producers and they're a family of w workforce. So if you're going to get this coronavirus coming in hitting a specific farm, it can actually and it will tend to want to expand in to the larger community and into the pack houses which then could lead to serious problems. We get a lot of support from our local citrus industry, we get lots of support from our local businesses, we get lots of support from church members offering their help. It is humbling to see how much people have been giving while we are going through this difficult time. It's presented us with a great opportunity but also showed something about Citrus Doll's heart. It is an initiative from the community for the community. Since the lockdown, the poverty in our community was highlighted in a profound way. The main thing we're focusing on at the moment is the food parcels. We are trying to make sure that those families with the greatest need get something to eat so that they, they don't go to bed in the evenings hungry. We are trying to do it in a way that it's, it is streamlined and that the food that we get are distributed fairly and provided in a way that is, it is transparent. So we decided on a helpline, and that helpline is manned by Badisa, the United Reformed Church, the Dutch Reformed Church, the Matsikama AIDS Network, and also the ACT Social Workers. On a day-to-day -day basis at the moment, the centre is used as a place where we collect food and from where we distribute it. Then we also have other things happening here. A few municipal members came to us and said, well, we're going to start this homeless shelter and the kitchen is making food for them right now. They're making three meals a day. They come in as volunteers and they uh, come and make the most fantastic food. I wish you could smell it. Father, in Jesus' name, um, um. They are healthy, they are well looked after and they've got a safe and warm place to stay. And then we also have our knitting hub. We've also changed that from the normal things we make and we are making masks. This, this one I have around my neck has been made by them as well. We've worked with the Department of Health to make sure that we've prepared the isolation areas where people can come into once they test it positive and they don't have a place to go for isolation. The COVID-19, although we are very concerned about it, it gave us the opportunity to have a joint goal and a joint perspective and community members, community organisations and the citrus industry provide a lot of support for our community fund and with this fund we've been able to pay for all the meals that's been made. It brought everybody together. Things dramatically changed in our community since the COVID-19 and I think ACT with its various stakeholders really do make an impact in people's lives in this very difficult time.